Hi everyone, welcome to Homemade Science with me, Miss Allison. Today I'm going to show you how to make quicksand goo. You might wonder what that is. Is it a solid? Is it a liquid? Is it a mixture of both? What is it? We're going to find out, so join me as we start this exciting experiment. So first of all, I'm going to tell you what quicksand is. Quicksand is a mixture of water and sand or silt. If you stand on it, you would sink into it because that's how it works. So what is quicksand goo? Quicksand goo is a substance that's a bit like quicksand. It can act like a solid and like a liquid. So when you um, roll it together, it can be a solid. And when you let go, it turns into what looks like a liquid. So I can't wait to get started on this experiment. So for this experiment, you just need a few simple ingredients. The first thing you're going to need is some cornstarch. I have 16 ounces of cornstarch here, but you can use whatever size you have. Cornstarch. The next thing you're going to need is some water to mix it up. Then you need a big bowl to mix it in because it's going to get messy. The other thing I have, which is not necessary but you can add if you want to. I have some food coloring just to add to my goo to make it look brighter, to make it look more interesting. I have yellow to make it look like sand but you can use whatever color you like. Okay so those are the ingredients. Let's get started. All right here we go. Time to start our experiment. Okay the first thing we're going to do we're going to pour our cornstarch into the bowl. I've already opened it. Let's pour it in here. Here we go, pour the whole thing in, there we go, okay that's the cornstarch. Then I'm going to add my water, okay so here we go. So I have 16 ounces of cornstarch and I have 8 ounces of water, so I'm just going to start to pour that in here, which is going to get interesting, okay there's the water. And then I'm going to add my food colouring. I have some yellow food colouring here. I'm just going to add a few drops to make it more interesting. There we go, just a couple drops. All right, now I'm going to put my hands in and I'm going to see what happens. Here we go. Oh wow, it feels kind of mushy. Oh, I can already feel that it's starting to feel like a solid. Let's just mix that together. Try and get it all together. Wow, look at that. It's kind of solid already in some places. And I think I might need to add a little more water to this. It seems too solid and too dry. So let me just add some more water. Okay, so I'm just going to pour in a little more water until it starts to become more like a goo. It's a little too solid right now. So let me just mix that for a moment and see what we can do with it. Wow, look at that. It's pretty solid already in here. So I'm just going to work with this a little more. Oh wow, pretty cool. So I'm just gonna work this and I think I will even add a little more water to it. So we'll just keep working this until it is the consistency that we want. So I wanna show you what I've been doing. I've been mixing this for a little bit so it's a really nice consistency now but I want to show you something when I push in it. Look, it, it looks, it's, it acts like a solid, okay? Because when I'm pushing, my fingers don't go all the way through. Okay, now when I pick it up, I'm gonna get a bunch of, did you see how that looks like a solid in places? Well, that's what it is. Here, let me show you this. Solid, and then it turns into a gooey liquid. 
it actually feels really cool. Okay, let me show you again. As I'm picking this up, you can kind of see how I can get clumps of it. Okay, so let's try and roll that. So I'm able to roll it into kind of like a ball. So there we have our solid ball. And when I let go, look at that. It turns into a liquid. That's so cool. So if I just pat my fingers on it like this, it acts like a solid. But if I lay my fingers on it, look at that. So if I go fast, it acts like a solid. And if I just lay my fingers there, it acts like a liquid. Ooh, so much fun. So you can do whatever you want with this. You can add whatever colors you like to make it interesting. And then, let me just show you that one more time. So there's the ball. And then let it go and it turns into a liquid. So much fun. I've transferred my um, goo to a different colored bowl just so you can see it more clearly on the screen. And I have a couple little things here that I wanna try in the quicksand goo to see how it works and what happens. Okay, here's my little adventurers who are gonna go into the goo. Let's see what happens when we put them in. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one in like this. <gasps> Look at that! She doesn't sink, she floats on top of the goo. Okay, let's try another friend and see what happens to our other little friend. Okay, here we go. Let's imagine he's walking across the, the goo like this. He's also floating. So let's see what happens whenever we pick them up. Look at, they have all this attached to them. So it turns into a solid underneath them. So that supports the weight of their bodies so they don't sink into it. Okay, let me see if I can find something else that we can try. This is a little thing that should bounce. And I wonder what it's gonna do if I quickly throw it onto the quicksand goo. Will it sink? Will it bounce back? Will it float? Let's find out. Here we go. It kind of stopped. It didn't bounce back, but it's not sinking completely. I see that it is starting to fill up because underneath it, the cornstarch is turning into a solid. So it does look like a liquid, but when I just tap it like this, it really kind of feels like a solid. Now when I pull it up, let's see what happens. Look at all that goo that it's attached to. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. So you can see that our quicksand goo, see how it looks like a liquid? But yet, it also acts like a solid. So I think that's pretty cool. You can try different things with this. So how do we explain this substance in terms of science? So here's the science. The science is called viscosity. It describes how thick and sticky a liquid is. So for example, water is not very viscous, but something like molasses or maple syrup is. So normal gooey things are usually more solid or more liquid. But this goo can switch between a solid and a liquid depending on how much pressure you put it under. So you can roll it into a ball like this, but as soon as you stop, it turns into a liquid. And I think that is pretty cool. Well, I want to tell you, I had a lot of fun doing that experiment with the quicksand goo. It really was a lot of fun. I hope that you enjoy it too. And I want to let you know that if you want to try this at home, make sure that you have your grown-ups approval because it's going to get messy. The other thing I want to let you know is our little volunteers that came to help us in the quicksand goo, they're perfectly fine. They're all cleaned up, all ready to go. 
So if you like that experiment and you want to try some others, you can try this book. It's called Science Maker Book and that's available for checkout at the Wheaton Public Library. Okay, thanks for joining me everyone. Hopefully see you again soon. Bye!